This is an example of how to construct a tangent to a circle through a point outside the circle. So first we'll start with a circle O and we'll make a nice easy circle. I'll just make it 40 centimeters, 40 millimeters in radius. And then we've got this point somewhere outside the circle. We'll call it point P. Okay, the first step to do this construction is to draw the segment OP. Now construct the perpendicular bisector of point of segment OP. So we put our compass on cent the center on P, and we choose something that's about halfway, a little bit more. This uh, looks like 70 is more than halfway, so I'm going to make a mark above and below. And I'm going to switch to the other point, point O, and use my 70 and mark one above and below. And it looks like I missed up here, so I'll go back to point P and make a mark up above on 70. Okay. Now I've got these two points of intersection above and below, so that's going to be the point that my perpendicular bisector is on. So I draw the perpendicular bisector. That's perpendicular. And this is now bisecting segment OP. Let's call this point Q. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance from Q to O. It looks to me like it's right at the at 51. If I pull on 51, it looks like it's going to be right there. So what I'm going to do now is using that radius, I'm going to make two marks on the circle itself. So up at the top, and then I'm going to come down here and down at the bottom. And I'm pulling on it to make sure that it's tight and it's the exact radius as the center here. If I wanted to, I could draw a whole circle, but I just don't need those lines in my way. Instead, I'm going to look at where that arc intersected my circle. I'll call that X and I'll call this one Y down here. It turns out that at this point, if I connect point P to point X, that will be the tangent. So I draw the line. That was kind of a funny thing to have happen. And you can see that the line that goes through P and X is tangent to the circle. If I chose to make the tangent down below, then I would use point Y, and you can see that that line is also tangent. So if there's ever a point that's not on the circle, you can always draw two tangents to the circle, and that's how you do it. Do the perpendicular bisector of the segment from the center to the outside, and then from that center of that segment, measure to the center of the circle, and draw two arcs, or one, on the circle, and then merely connect point P to point X, and there you've got the tangent to the circle.